Hi students, welcome. This is Varsha here. So this is our sixth lesson, problems on quadratic equations. So question number four from our Sagarwal book, exercise six, fourth question. Find two consecutive natural numbers, the sum of the whose sum of whose squares is one forty five. Okay, find the two consecutive numbers. Okay, so this is a natural number and consecutive number. So how will you take the two numbers? If first number is x, the next number can be written, can be taken x plus one. Okay. So whenever you have a word consecutive, in that time only you have to take x plus one. Okay. So x, x plus one. So these are the two consecutive natural numbers. The sum is the sum of whose squares is one forty five. What means this is squaring this. X plus one the whole square. So this is square. Take the sum of the squares. So square plus x plus one the whole square is equal to one four five one forty five. Okay. So splitting and factorizing, you will get your answer. Okay. So this is x square and x square two x plus one equal to one forty five. So This is of the form a plus b the whole square, so a square plus two ab plus b square. Okay, dear. So add this two x square plus two x plus one minus one forty five equal to zero. So simplifying this one two x square plus two x um, subtract you get one forty four equal to zero. So all our even numbers so can divide by two. So by two, by two, by two, by two. So this is x square plus x cancel. This is minus seven times two times. This is zero. So th this is our final equation. Okay, ma. So now you can use factorization method or. Um, Middle term method. So I am going to do the factorization method. Minus b plus r minus root of b square minus four ac by two a. So what is your a? What is your b first? Minus one plus r minus root of b square. So this is one. Here also one. So one, one and minus seventy two. So this is one. Minus four a into minus seventy two by two. Okay, ma. Yes. So now this is minus one plus r minus root of one plus seventy two into four eight two zones eighty eight. So by two. So this is minus one. If you add, you get minus root of two eighty nine. By two. So, what is the square root of two eighty nine students? Yes, do you know that square root of two eighty nine that is seventy. So, minus one plus r minus seventeen by two. Okay. So, minus one plus seventeen by two minus one minus seventeen by two. So, these are belongs to natural numbers. Okay, ma. So, this is Sixteen by two and minus eighteen by two, so you get four and minus nine. So this is the value of x. So it is given that is uh, natural number. So you need not to take minus nine. So you have to take the answer as x is equal to four. Okay. So x is our answer. Okay. Shall we check our answer, students? Okay. So whenever this problems come, have to check whether the answer is right or not. That is very easy. So two consecutive numbers. So first number answer we found that is four um, and x plus one that is five. So they have told squares sixteen. This is squares twenty five. Um, when you sixteen twenty five. Okay. So two consecutive natural numbers. The sum is. Oh, I have committed a mistake. This is minus nine. This is sorry, students. Sixteen 
by 2 this is 8 okay so I have written 4 sorry so this is 8 so this is 9 that the number is so so 8 the square is 64 this is 81 okay so what is what is given here um, the sum is 145 okay so this is x this is x plus 4 and this is square so if you add see 64 81 5 1 4 so 145 so when you add you get 145 so our answer is right okay 200 percent right so our answer is x is equal to 8 so this is not 4 sorry students i have committed a mistake so 16 by 2 that is 8 this is minus 9 so we should not take because the answer is given uh, natural number so we need not take so our answer is 8 okay yes so do you understand the sum so this is very easy sum so after doing this sum you can check your answer okay so because they have given sum of the squares is 145 so we have taken two numbers and squares and take the sum so we get our answer so you definitely you will get all the marks for this sum because you found the perfect answer okay students i hope you all understand okay thank you